For the Marlins, it'll be Daniel Castano pitching in his ninth game, sixth start of the season. Coming off a loss against the Mets on Thursday, ERA jumped a little more than a run just because of the uh, lack of innings, so it'll happen that way, but still at 360, up from 242, and facing the Pirates for the first time in his career. And a ground ball and a diving stop at third by Anderson to his feet, but no chance. Throws the ball away, but Newman will settle for an infield single, and he did not turn towards second. Well, it saves a double for now. The ground ball. It's going to be Wendell stepping on the bag, throwing to first, and they get the double play. Oh, that's a beautiful job by Daniel Castano there to be able to get that ground ball. That's what he's doing. They were playing him perfectly, a little bit shaded up the middle. Easy play for Wendell to come in, step on the base, and take it himself. See the Pirates opener, Chris Stratton right here. First time in his career he's been the opener in a situation like this. He has started earlier in his career. 36 games, 35 innings pitched, 33 strikeouts, almost a strikeout an inning. That's good. Oh. Save some of these guys down there in the bullpen. Marisnik in right center, going to call off Castillo, and Castillo wisely backs off. Two up and two down. That's in the air to right center, and there's Marisnik again, almost identical, and that's good stuff. Marisnik, former Marlin, began his major league career in Miami. And now Marisnik drives one to left, sending Birdie back, and Jake Marisnik, he's going to clear the deck with a cannonball. He loves Miami, going to Miami, and the Pirates lead one to nothing. How about this guy? Welcome back. Jake showing the power, a high towering shot that just kept going and going and going. Two and two from Castano, got him to chase that slider down and away. And with those long arms, couldn't reach it. Castano has two strikeouts. Anderson off of first, the 1-1 pitch is in the air out to a right field. Sends Castillo back, he turns and it bangs off the wall. Anderson will be held at third on the double by Fortes. Did miss a homer by more than maybe five feet. Boy, Fortes hit that ball extremely hard. It's up in the zone, out over the plate away. The Marlins have two in scoring position and one out for Joey Wendell. Wendell with a fly ball. Hey, it's Marisnik making the catch. Throw is off the mark. Sack fly. Anderson scores. Wendell gets the job done. We're tied at one. One two swing and a foul tip struck him out. Hill and Peters retires the two men he faces in the third, but the sack fly plates a run. Remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Strike three. Boy, talk about coming back. Down 3 0 on the count, and he gets Cooper looking. They got a call on that 3 0 from the home plate umpire Ryan Addison. Right yeah. Nice. There's one, two, three for Dylan Peters. Two outs uh, for O'Neill Cruz. And Cruz headed toward the corner. It will get to the wall. Castillo is going to be waved by Rebello. Here comes the throw to the plate. He's in there. And O'Neill Cruz picks up another ribby. And the Pirates take a 2 1 lead. Diego got a good jump right off the crack of the bat. Jason DeLay starting to earn the trust of his manager. And now, how about some two out action from Jason DeLay? Make it quick, make it three to one. Jason DeLay becoming a story here. O'Neill Cruz picks up his 16th ribby since joining the Pirates on June 20th, and then DeLay singles. But Castano gets the strikeout there. Two in for the Pirates. They lead it 3-1 halfway through it. 920 OPS for Fortes, who has three home runs. Now Mickey's on his way to third, and he is going to come right home. Fortes comes through with the base hit in left field. Mickey scores easily. RBI for Fortes, and it's 3-2. You had the third baseman, Hayes, breaking to cover the bag with Mickey running, and Fortes grounded that ball right through the spot he gave up. Well, Peters uh, thought he had the double play ball. They get a run, and it's 3-2. to two. Got some, and that's a big strikeout. Birdie, that great speed, leads the major leagues in stolen bases. Huge strikeout for Beatty. All-star Garrett Cooper. He grew up in Southern California. He's headed to the All-Star game at Dodger Stadium. Cooper fouls one off his knee area. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Boy. Oh, that hurts. 
Got him. Flush. Or, do or that. paint. <laughs> That'll work. Struck him out looking. Bounce to Newman. And Tyler Beatty enjoys a 1 2 3 bottom of the six. The bullpen game, and so far, Pirates relievers doing a nice job. Garrett Cooper out of the ball game after taking that foul ball off the inside of that left knee. At this point, where you're so close to that all star break, you don't go ahead and, and just keep him out there. And bounce to Hayes. Oh, how smooth that is. Uh, he really is. Just let him hit the ball over there to that left side of the infield. you got to like your chances. Between Key Bryan and O'Neill Cruz, it's got to be a missile to get through the left side of the infield over there with this Pirates defense. But watch this. Just smooth like butter. Coming in, backhand, get his feet underneath him, makes a good throw. And Brad Eldred, big country. There's a ground ball. 4-3. Will Crow, 1-2-3. Go to the ninth. We love to see the Renegade come in and pitch in these ball games. Situations like this, you feel pretty good about your chances. 34 games, 2-6-3 ERA, 55 strikeouts and 41 innings pitched. One pitch. Chavis. And Newman calls him off and just does reach it. In the air to right. But that's going to stay in the yard. Garcia had no interest in running. Tying run is aboard. Winning run comes to the plate with two outs in the ninth inning. He struck him out. Raises the Jolly Roger with 98. The All-Star Renegade saves it. The Pirates win it, and they have won four in a row for the first time since September of 2019.